Hi everyone, I'm Holly. Welcome to the Pack and Chat, part three. So this first one here is going to Tyronda in Arkansas. Thank you for your orders. Tyronda had a few different orders that we're gonna put together. So we have quite a lot over here on this side, but they're all pretty much the same size, so this should be really nice. We have a Kalindalu carrot soap. And then we do have three of the star anise soaps. Love it so much. I was craving licorice last night. I was like, we really do need to get some licorice around here. We haven't had any black licorice in forever. Of course, my husband loves black licorice, so he's good with that idea. All right, so it looks like we're doing three per row. All right, so then we have some of the juicy soaps. Those there. Let's see, we have strawberry champagne soaps. Do that. Oh, there we go. Nice. That worked out quite well. We have tickled pink. And we have frosted cherry. I love that scent. It is so good. We have some more of those. Let's see. We've got figgy cream. How many more do we got? Okay, good. Perfect. And then let's see if we can get all of these salt soaps in. So we have two of the watermelon lemonade sea salt soaps. Let's see. Let's just put them. Hmm. Let's see how we want to do that. I'm going to have to break it up into a couple of boxes anyway. No, that's not going to go. So. That's pretty snug if we put that there. I mean, it works. Yeah, that should be fine. Just have to make sure that paper is kind of pulled right. It's pulling it down with it. There we go. Say, maybe if I go this way, I can actually see what's happening here. So we have the candied citrus sea salt soaps. I was hoping I could get two. Let's see here. Some of those are falling off. This paper is being a real pain back here. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we got that going. Now for the, the clamshells could technically go in, but I think I'm just going to stop here since I do have to get another one started anyway, but you know, I could probably go pretty small with that one. So we're going to put in Oh, forgot about forgot about all these over here. All right, well, the rolls of the paper wrap come with this little bit of white paper. So I've been using it to cover these soaps up. All right, that looks good. Tuck a little bit back here. Now I'll have to go print another invoice because I have them kind of mishmashed, I think. Since I didn't get in. Oh, I had more of those. <laughs> oh, it was hiding from me. So what I think we'll do then. 
Hmm. I think I'm gonna take the candied citrus out of this particular one. Put in the rest of these. Tyrande, you were probably like, hey, wait a minute, I ordered more than that. All right. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's tight. It's a little too tight for my liking. So, let's put the shred down. I'm still thinking. Definitely could get a couple of the sprays in here. So we had a poppies and peaches, and then this is a lemon spray. And let's go ahead and put the paper back. That's what I was doing here. And then we're going to put in a coffee shop, an almond cookie, and a blueberry wax melt. Now I don't think, oh that will fit actually. So we will get all the sprays into this one then. Okay, I like that. Alright, so what I'll need to do, I do need to figure out samples still, and I think I'm just going to set this over to the side and I will finish it in just a little bit. So for the rest of this order, we're going to pop it into a cube. So we have a peach salt scrub, we have a watermelon salt scrub, we have frosted cherry salt scrub, I think that was the last one of those and so now I'm just gonna tuck in these candied citrus soaps do have a little extra room but it won't fit in my nick size down so we'll just go with it I'll probably put the samples over here I'm gonna put it in a hefty lemon soap sample in a strawberry rhubarb pie wax melt sample and I am going to work on printing an additional set of invoices so that I can get it all you know box one box two and I'll get these ready to go and I will come back for the next one this order is going to Kayla in South Carolina thank you for your order Kayla we have a watermelon salt scrub and I love this so much. The unscented kefir soap. Love that. Love it, love it. And calendula carrot. I do think I'm going to switch my font out next time. It didn't end up printing as well as I would have liked, but it definitely gets the job done for now. Looks pretty good in person. Not too bad. So we're going to put a little shred down here we have two bath fizzies so we have the frosted cherry which what a huge hit that one they all turned out to be pretty popular and sold fast but the frosted cherry was just a it's a great scent and I just heard from a customer in California who got our package this afternoon said pretty sure that the frosted cherry was going to be a, a big scent in her house going forward I've been thinking of how I could recreate it in the soap since it does discolor so much. Just have to see how it goes. I've been thinking, I have not made soap now in such a long time. I have all the rainbow soaps prepped for the next release. And it's just a, it's not all the rainbow soaps because making all the rainbow soaps is exhausting but it does have a lot of rainbow soaps. let me see if I can see so we have rainbow for sure we have confetti blossom we have sunshine and rainbows we have sweetly clean we have fruity loops uh, salt and regular I'm not quite sure about how the regular one is really panning out for me but we have rainbow mint chip 
and I keep walking over there and keep forgetting. Oh, the unicorn, the unicorn dreams. You will have seen some of them on the Instagram. But they have been made and just sitting over there, so I will have to look them over and evaluate them. So we're gonna put in a watermelon soap sample, business card, an invoice. And then this one will be off to South Carolina. It is Friday, so I've put in a good week and I'm getting ready to be done for the week. This is the last thing I'm doing today is the pack and chat. And then we will schedule a pickup for Saturday. It confuses our poor local post office when we decide to start packing orders again. <laughs> Our regular mailman's like, I've had everybody just shuffling. They're trying to figure out how to get all these picked up. So our last order was going to Kayla in South Carolina, and this order is going to Kaylee in North Carolina. So thank you for your order, Kaylee. That's kind of fun that it worked out like that. So we have a watermelon lemonade sea salt soap and a candied citrus sea salt soap. They almost always went together. We have a charcoal tea tree scented soap. And then we have a golden oats. And this one is a little bit of a different oatmeal type scent. It's not a oatmeal milk and honey. I say oats plus amber plus powder scent. It is really nice, but it is a little bit different than just a standard one. This is, if you're a soap maker, this was from Brambleberries collection that in fact I think they called that the farmhouse collection I think that inspired the whole thing that was supposed to be like four or five different soaps that ended up being like all the things so let's see if I want it like that and decide I'm feeling hmm I think we'll just do that so those all look so nice together the black and the tan and the cream color. Love it. I did not bring samples. Hmm. I'm going to pop in a big calendula carrot soap sample into this one. We have the invoice and the business card. Which I'm still working on the ones that I'd ordered before Christmas that are all Vista print. Kind of sent me ones that were not cut well. But I'm using them up. They get the job done. Not a big deal. Most people who aren't particular won't notice it. So it'll be fine. So this package is on its way tomorrow, Saturday my time, to North Carolina. This order is going to Roxanne and Kids in Virginia. So hi everyone and thank you for ordering. We have a watermelon salt scrub. Let's see, we have, oh yeah, here we had some tucked over. We have strawberry champagne and watermelon wax melts. That to the side like so. We have a peach wax melt and a lemon crazy. I also heard from my customer in California that said, really loving this lemon crazy. This is different from the luscious lemon. Luscious lemon is more of just a lemon verbena type. And this is supposed to be just kind of lemon and lemon rind. And now I will be completely honest and say most of the lemons all smell the same to me, but my customers are also, um, can usually, pick out lemons a little bit different. So this is supposed to be more of a plain lemon and not a lemon verbena. And so um, I had a request for just straight up lemon. So that's where this came to be. And several people had suggested lemon crazy, a uh, special fragrance. And so that's what that is. We have iced eucalyptus. That's always and forever one of my favorites. Now these little hanger things are nice but they do kind of get in the way for packing orders. Let's see, so the rest are bath bombs, bath fizzies. I, 
I might as well just go back to calling them bath bombs instead of bath fizzies. I don't know why I decided to call them bath fizzies this time, but I can't seem to remember it from one moment to the next that I did. I did that, so I might as well just call them bath bombs. All right, so we're going to start putting in some bath fizzies. We have a blueberry bath fizzy. And then I'm going to try to do double layers of these, which should be fine. So we have figgy cream, and then we have the green apple. So I'm about halfway done with the orders from this release. The release was on Thursday the 18th, I think it was. So it takes me a while to get through them, and I sure do appreciate everybody's patience. My husband does pull orders and put boxes together when he can. But sometimes the bigger ones just really slow me down and don't I don't get as much done in a day. Kind of have a quota. And I don't pack as fast as other people do, and I admit to that because I'm sitting here picking out your samples. I'm not just tossing it in, throwing in a little bit of peanuts, and we're good to go. That's just not how I function. So it does take me a little bit longer, as you can tell by watching the videos. So my quota for the day is usually 30 orders. And that allows me to work downstairs at my computer for just a little bit, because I always have something I need to get done. Responding to emails and prepping pictures for a social media post, editing, video, etc. So it does take me a little longer than most. But I am very transparent about that. I always say it'll take me up to 10 to 15 business days to get my orders done. All right, let's see. And there's sometimes towards the end that once the orders get smaller, I can pack 50, sometimes 70. I've packed 80 in a day if I'm just really wanting to get done. But for the most part, I'm trying not to stress myself out. Standing on your feet for a really long time is hard on the body. In fact, I had to quit early yesterday because I was going downhill in a hurry. So I just went and kind of laid down and just rested for the rest of the evening and it I've, I feel so much better today. Sometimes you just have to stop and rest so that you can work harder the next day. I was just, I was up here yesterday and my back was so tired and I was just, I was just tired. I told my husband, I was like, if I don't stop now, then tomorrow it's also going to be a struggle and I'm going to have an even harder time getting what I need done accomplished. So I quit early and I rested and then today I've, I've made up my quota that I missed out on yesterday plus doing a video. So it's definitely worth it in the long run and you just got to listen to your body because I know what can happen if I don't stop and rest my back. All right, I think these are gonna be completely fine, but I don't have enough room. I think I need to rework this just a little bit. I think I got too much of the shred on the bottom and it's gonna cause me problems for these. So anyway, it's just one of those things that we've, here in America, we've gotten so crazy about the hustle the hustle will kill you eventually, so you've got to take your time and work as fast as you can, but without killing yourself while you're at it. And being that it's Friday, tomorrow, which I'm pretty darned excited about, is our rest day. So we don't plan anything if we don't have to do anything. My husband and the kids usually play Xbox together. I usually just kind of hang out in my room and watch some television or read. You know, really enjoy that coffee. And there's just something about that break. There's something about it. It fires me up for the rest of the week. I usually bake, make some goodies for the kids. Kind of a funny story. 
somebody had a banana cream pie or something and I told my kids they're like man your mom she could throw out a pie and I cuz I I'm pretty good at pies and they're like well it's too bad we've never really had a pie I was like what <laughs> what what say you now and they're like um, you say you make great pies but we haven't really other than Thanksgiving you know we're not really accustomed to your banana cream pies and all that and I was like well then we must fix this because my oldest is 18 you know he's gonna be moving on before we know it and so I've been making it a goal to bake again when I started making soap I kind of quit baking and I used to bake a lot cookies pies cakes etc and so I'm kind of getting back into making a little bit of that I didn't do a lot when the whole COVID thing started because we do try to watch our sugar for immunity reasons and otherwise while everybody else was going crazy making banana bread and stuff I was like nope nobody can eat any sugar so <laughs> I got making up for it we have it once a week is all oh anyway I'm really looking forward to my weekend it's going to be awesome going to be fantastic boys are probably gonna have to mow because you know we're mowing here already the grass is getting a little tufty all right so we're gonna put in a peach which was a requested sample and we're gonna put in a strawberry rhubarb pie wax melt oh man my grandma my grandma Roberts my dad's mom she could make a rhubarb crisp best ones on the planet I'm gonna put in a little bit more of this paper wrap bubble replacement everything was feeling pretty good I was I was yammering but everything was feeling good as I was getting that done so does anybody wish I mean I know a bunch of you wish this I just wish all my grandparents died when I was young and to be an adult and sit down with your grandparents that would be fantastic you know I don't think we appreciate them enough when we're little but man oh man to and to eat my grandparents cooking um, what am I doing you know my grandma's oh goodness it would be amazing to do that my grandpa passed in let's see 94 my grandma passed in 98 and then my dad's mom was my my youngest or my oldest was already born but he was young so that would have been like 2004 or three or something like that so it's been a lot of years a lot of missed out good times i'd say all right so i guess i'm gonna have to really squash this one together all right so my husband has run off to the clear the other side of town to for an errand so I'm sitting here thinking well even though it's late I guess I'll just keep thank you Ron <laughs> it's supposed to be 77 tomorrow and windy followed by storm so it's gonna be a little weird anyway I guess I'll just keep packing orders for a little bit thank you for watching and I'll catch you on one more coming soon